Hi guys, so welcome to week six of our Art of Healing. And this week we are talking about following your passions, following the way life leads you, and finding your purpose in life and knowing that you have to follow your arrow wherever it takes you. And so I decided that I was going to work in my um, loose leaf journal. So I've just pulled out an 8 by 8 sheet of watercolor paper that I'll punch holes in and add the rings to later once I get the pages done for the journal. So I started out using my Distress inks and adding some water to them, and I'm just kind of smushing the paper over the top of them. You have to dry it in between each layer of color because if you don't, you're going to end up with a muddy, brown, yucky mess. So be patient, take your heat gun and dry it in between layers or let it sit for a little while till it's dry, and then add those colors in layers um, one on top of the other until you get the look that you're looking for. Um, I love these colors because they're nice and bright and I'm a bright person so I chose the bright colors of the Distress inks to add and then I add a little purple just to kind of um, antique it out a little bit and then I took my baby wipe and took the yellow color and colored in some of the white spaces that didn't quite get covered once um, everything was dry. So um, I really like the way that it turned out and then I took my new um, Distress Shimmer Sprays and I sprayed them over the top and then once they're dry they're just going to kind of give it a little bit of a shimmer and shine. Hopefully you can see that. Um, if not, you can see it in the close-up pictures at the end. Um, and then, of course, I'm adding, you know, my background stamps. I used an ABC pattern, and then I took some of my modeling paste and my stencils to bring in some, um, some more layers so that it's kind of raised, and it just gives it a little bit more texture, which I love. I like a lot of texture. And then I started adding in some more stamps to kind of give it a more of a framed border look so that once my focal points get on the page, it will have some stamped frame out points on the sides. So um, keep in mind the stamps and everything that I use and all of the things that I use in my pages are listed below so that um, you know the supplies you can use. Then I just inked out the edges with my Distress ink. I used the brown, um, uh, I can't remember the color, but it's listed below. I used that to cover the textures and to cover the edges so that just kind of brought everything together so that it will kind of go towards my focal point. So you can kind of see the shimmer in this a little bit better. So I took a scratch sheet of paper and my Delusions um, arrow stamps and I'm stamping them onto the page because I want to paint them and then I'm going to later take some embossing ink and powders and give them a little bit of embossed texture. So I go ahead and clean my stamps really good so that when I re-stamp over them with the embossing ink, it's not going to re-ink them and mess up my lines. And then I used my Distress Paint, which is not transparent, but it is thin enough that when I paint over the top of my arrows, I can still see my lines to go ahead and cut them out. It's hard for you to see on the video the lines and the arrows, but when I'm looking at it to cut them out, I can see them just enough to cut them out. And then once I stamp over the top with the embossing ink, it's going to give me my lines back with the gold embossing powder that I use over the top. So I just blended those colors together and to kind of give them a blended look so they weren't all one color and just painted straight over the top of those, um, dried them off with my heat gun so that they would be nice and dry and permanent and that would allow me to go ahead and cut them out. So I go ahead and cut them out prior to putting the embossing ink on the top of them because I want to make sure that my lines are very exact with the embossing ink so that I can get that powder on there correctly and it shows the lines and everything exactly the way that they were stamped on. So I have to cut them out first before I do that. So I went ahead and cut them all out 
And as you can see a little bit, you can kind of see the lines now that um, they're cut out and dry. And I emboss each one and put it over the top of it exactly so I can get the lines correct. And then I sprink sprinkle the embossing powder over it. And so that detail comes back once I've got them embossed. So I make sure that I line them up really good on my stamps and then press that embossing powder onto, or embossing ink onto it, and then sprinkle the powder. So then I set that with my heat gun, and once I do that, it gives it that raised embossed look, and it brings the detail back out in the arrows from the initial stamping process that I did. So you can see there how now you can see each of the, each of the details on the arrows. And then once I do that, I have to decide which how I wanna arrange my arrows. I kinda of wanted them all over the page because I, um, you know, life takes us in so many different directions and we just never know which direction we're gonna go. So we wanna make sure that we follow those arrows. No matter where they point us in life, we follow our passions and our purpose. So I added a little washi tape just for a little bit of extra texture. And then once I did that, I went ahead and used my matte medium to stick all of my arrows down onto the page. It dries clear, so I didn't really have to be super careful with where the medium got, whether it got on the top or not. Um, with the embossing powder, it's not gonna mess that up because it's sealed. So I used my matte medium, I stuck my arrows where I wanted them and got them all put down. And then once I decided, once I got that done, I decided to use this follow your arrow wherever it points stamp that I have. And I stamped that onto my scrap paper. I used my big brush, my black big brush pen to try to get the arrow part of it to stand out a little bit more. Um, I had a little trouble with that stamp, so it took me two times to get it right. But then once I did that, I went ahead and cut out my wording so that I could place them on my page exactly where I wanted them. And then I took my distress ink that I used around the edges of the page and I went ahead and distressed the edges of each one of the title pieces so that it wouldn't be so bright and it would kind of make them pop a little bit more. And then once I did that, I decided because of that black washi tape that I used, I wanted to add some black splashes to the page. So I added a little water to some distress ink and just sprinkled it on with a small brush. Keep in mind, you're gonna get small splatters with small brushes, big splatters with big brushes. So just depending on what you want, you, you can choose your brush accordingly. So then I took my matte medium and I stuck my titles down on the page and that distress ink, once I put the medium over the top of it, kind of smeared over the words so it made it look a little bit more antiqued and it kind of brought it more together with the rest of the page so I really liked the way it turned out. So this was the final product of following your arrow wherever it points and reminding myself to go in the direction of my passions and to follow where life takes me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this this week and you will try your own follow your arrow page and post it in our group. Thanks guys, you guys have a great week.